Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Pastor George from the Chetwin Gospel Tabernacle. And today it's a joy to come with you and to you and share with you from God's Word. Uh, just allow me to read some verses from uh, Mark chapter 5. And we're going to comment on certain sections of that just after I finish reading. When Jesus had crossed over by boat to the other side of the lake, a large crowd gathered around him while he was by the lake. Then one of the synagogue rulers named Jairus came there. Seeing Jesus, he fell at his feet and pleaded earnestly with him. My little daughter is dying. Please come and put your hands on her so that she will be healed and live. So Jesus went with him. Well, a large crowd followed and pressed around him, and a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all that she had, yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. And when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and she touched his cloak because she thought, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that was, she was freed from her suffering. At once, Jesus realized that power had gone out of him he turned around in the crowd and he asked, Who touched my clothes? And later on the story says that Jesus spoke again to the woman and said, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. Beautiful story about God's love through Christ reaching out to people who are in need. Let me just ask a question this morning. Uh, when all of our efforts have failed, when we have tried practically everything to resolve our problems, to deal with an issue, is Jesus Christ still the answer to our needs? Now understand, Jesus is on his way to the house of Jairus so that he might touch the daughter and bring healing. And in the midst of all of the excitement and the hundreds, maybe thousands of people who had, been, who had been interested in the ministry of Jesus, following Christ, there was a woman, the Bible says, who heard about Jesus. And this woman is in tremendous need. So in hearing about Jesus, the question might be asked this way, who is he? Who is this man who brings healing? Who is this man who gives us great teaching? Who is this man that will come alongside of people who are in need and touch them and heal them? Well, this woman is about to find out who Jesus is. She just heard about him. Now, a little bit of background. The woman was sick for 12 years with an issue of blood. The Bible tells us she appealed to various doctors. She had spent all of her money. And instead of getting better, her situation got worse as the days went by. And in those days, her kind of sickness was an affliction. She was considered to be unclean. She couldn't associate with people on a daily basis, even going to the marketplace. And in fact, under the law of the Old Testament, anybody who touched this woman would have been considered unclean for one day. And thus she was socially ostracized. So here is the lady, broken, bent, and bewildered. She heard about Jesus. 
and she is in a desperate need of finding a solution to the problem that she is facing. So question again, when all our efforts have failed, is Jesus Christ still the answer? Well, for the woman, everything had failed. Everything she tried did not bring a solution to the problem. And so she hears about, I call him, Dr. Jesus, the great physician. Have you been there? I've been there. I've been there when I couldn't resolve situations. I've been there where I've been laid down with burdens. I've been there when I've been almost desperate in the ministry and moving forward. There were times within myself I felt that I was a failure. I, I couldn't go on. My energy was, was drained. Even, even the ministry itself become a chore instead of becoming a joy and, and, and something that would bring satisfaction to my life. And I discovered in my own personal life, when I get to these dry days, Jesus Christ is still my solution. Amen. He is still the answer to anything that I face in life. And this woman, being desperate, but yet having a faith that this person might bring healing, continues to press forward. Matthew, Mark, and Luke says that she came up behind Jesus herself because she said, if I just touch his clothes, I will be healed. Imagine going to your family doctor and he just speaks the word and, and he just touches you and you are healed of heart problems and diabetes and high blood pressure and these kinds of things. Well, this lady is beginning to exercise some faith. If I could, could touch him, I will be healed. This woman was not going to let this opportunity slip by without making an effort, without pressing in, without making contact with a great physician. She wasn't going to just stand by and let the opportunity pass. And you know, sometimes we need to draw near to Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus. Healing is about Jesus. Deliverance is about Jesus. Restoration is about Jesus. Forgiveness is about Jesus. Oh, she said, if I could only touch his garment, I will be healed. The woman made contact, and the Bible says that immediately, imagine, immediately, Healing power exploded from Christ, and she was immediately healed. Here's what the Bible says. Immediately, her bleeding stopped, and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. Wow. Let me just say that it wasn't the magical quality of his clothing that brought healing, but rather the person who was standing in that clothing and according to his divine will and according to the faith of this woman, she was miraculously healed. Jesus said, who touched my clothes? While well, the disciples were a little distraught in asking the question, Jesus, all of these people are around. People are pressing, and you're asking the question, who touched my clothes? Well, at that moment in time, only two people were aware that a miracle had taken place. The woman who was healed and Jesus himself. You see, man's extremity is always God's opportunity. And as Jesus looked around him and asked the question, again, the disciples are perplexed. 
And here's exactly what they said. You see the people crowding around you, and yet you can ask, who touched me? Did the woman see Jesus looking in her direction as she stood there, knowing that the miracle had already happened. I wonder did she think in her mind that Jesus is trying to get her attention as he looks around the crowd. Did she hear Jesus asking the question, who touched me? We don't know, but she came to him in tears and trembling. She fell at his feet and explained it all the old truth. And Jesus, being who he is, Jesus, a man of faith and love and care and concern, said, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. What a tremendous day when everything else failed in her life. She found solace in Jesus Christ, and his healing power brought restoration. Friends, are you struggling? Have we spent all, and instead of getting better, we've gotten worse? The woman was healed because of her faith, and her faith was activated in that she pressed through. She forced herself to reach out, reach out to Jesus. If I could but touch his clothes, she said, I will be healed. God is ready to step into the emptiness of our lives and bring in himself to fill the emptiness. Are you ready to meet God? Are you ready to say, Jesus, I just can't do it? Are we ready to say, come in, Lord Jesus, be my healer, be my sanctifier, just love me in spite of who I am. The good news is Jesus is there. And as we come by faith, he will receive us and he will love us. Amen. So when all else fails, trust Jesus. God bless you. Have an awesome day. Take care. Love you in the Lord. Amen.